What is going on guys? Money Webby here back again on Monday. Got a nice nine game slate here tonight. I got a broken down view. Six of my favorite plays in the slate. My money six. So before we get going, if you could drop a like in the video like always, I greatly appreciate it. That was trying to get over 100 likes again on this one. Thank you if we can do that. Um, this video is, or just this slate, is littered with value plays. So I have a few of those for you to really make it easy to pay up for some elite options. So let's hop right into it, though. Devin Booker first up. If it's not broke, don't fix it. The guy has been going off recently. His usage has been insane. 29 shots, 29 shots, 34, 27 the last five games. So absolutely, or last four games. So absolutely insane usage, 10 assists and 11 assists, two of those three games as well. And going against Cleveland here, a really good matchup, a team that sucks against guards, and DeAndre Ayton is going to be out of this game as well. So he's going to have to put the team on his back here again, be very involved in the offensive end and score a lot of points. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first guy. I'm going to go with Ben Simmons here at 9,000. Similar situation, all of his offensive weapons around him are going down, and Bede's going to be out, um, Jimmy Butler is going to be out here tonight, so some more usage going Ben Simmons' way, will probably put up over 10 shots, and uh, be able to get some more upside, he was one assist off a triple-double last game against Minnesota, and uh, a good matchup here going against Dallas, their defense is not great, especially against guards, uh, had a triple-double against them in the one matchup, 55 drafting points there against them earlier this year. Um, so I think he's going to fill it up pretty nicely. Defensive stats have been great recently. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there <clears throat> as my second guy. And some good flexibility with that small forward eligibility for him on DraftKings. And for my third guy, Reggie Jackson here at 5,200. Blake Griffin's going to be out and some bench guys here. For Detroit are questionable and Luke Kennard. Also links in Galloway. So the guard play is a little bit, um, could easily be a little bit thinner meaning that Reggie Jackson could easily get over 30 minutes again here. Had 44 drafting points with uh, Blake Griffin. That last game, he did kind of get scratched late, uh, so that kind of didn't make that many people on Reggie Jackson. But whenever Blake Griffin has been out, he's really stepped up with a lot more shots and just a lot more upside on his drafting total. And also, Indiana will be without two of their starting guards and um, Darren Collison and, and uh, Wesley Matthews. So that can make their defense a little bit uh, more combobulated, or what's, I don't even know, a little bit all over the place, um, as you don't have that chemistry really playing over 30 minutes defensively. So that can make Reggie Jackson hopefully take advantage of that matchup. Indiana has been pretty stout defensively, but just the added upside for Reggie Jackson, I like him a lot. I'm going to lock him in there as my third guy. I'm going to go with Tristan Thompson, the guy that's been trending in the right direction. At 4,100 here, his minutes have continuously gone up recently. If you look at the game log here, uh, 15, 18, 22, and 26 minutes the last game. Good for 28 drafting points. Finally go back to his huge double-double ways. And against Phoenix here, this is the perfect matchup for him. Going against uh, Rich Homie, Rich Homie Quan, or Richard Holmes for, um, or Sean Holmes for uh, Phoenix. So really good matchup. He got bullied last game after DeAndre Aiden went out with that injury against Jonas Valanciunas. I was watching the game. I think Jonas Valanciunas had, like, honestly, maybe 20 points against him in the fourth quarter, it seemed like. But a 4,100 here, really good spot. And with the minutes trending up, looks like he's finally 100% healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my fourth guy. Really good value. And for my fifth guy, Tyreek Evans, I mentioned how much value is on the slate with those injuries to Wesley Matthews, to Darren Collison. Tyreek Evans could be a guy here that sees around 30 minutes, and that gives him some really good upside. Whenever he sees those extra minutes, he has been a guy that's been averaging around one fantasy point per minute. So if he get his minutes up to 30, has that 30-plus upside, and he had um, been turning it on a little bit uh, with Darren Collison hurt a few, like a week ago, um, where he was able to get those bigger games against the Clippers, against Golden State, put up 38 and 30 drafting points with those 29 minutes, like I mentioned. So really good spot here again. Um, Detroit, another team that's not great against guards, especially um, Wayne Allenton. He hasn't been great defensively throughout his career, and especially like this year. Uh, so Tyreek Evans, really good matchup there. I'm going to lock him in there as my fifth guy. And for my final guy, value, 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 Walt Lemon. 
Jr. here at 3,000. The guy absolutely won berserk, came out of nowhere and dropped 42 drafting points against Toronto in 31 minutes. So that's a tough defensive team. So that was really impressive there. And now he has another matchup here pretty much against a JV team c compared to Toronto going against the New York Knicks. So this game is going to be an absolute barn burner. And Walt Lemon Jr. probably has the most to gain out of anyone in this game. So I feel like he's going to be going balls to the wall here. Getting around 30 minutes. He's already got declared to be getting the start. Um, so a really good upside at 3,000 for a guy that looked pretty offensive-minded in his first game with 15 shots in 31 minutes. He wasn't afraid of the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. Could easily go over 30 drafting points again. So that is the money six. You got Devin Booker, Reggie Jackson, Ben Simmons, Tristan Thompson, Tyreek Evans, and Walt Lemon Jr. I hope you enjoyed. You got 7,500 remaining per player. And uh, a lot of good value across it. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Over 100 likes. And subscribe to the channel to continue to get these plays the remainder of the NBA season. Go ahead and check out my MLB video. I will be uploading it within the next like hour or so. So it should be up while you're watching this. But good luck. And we'll see you back here again next time.